What is up? It's MTG of MTG Reviews and today we are going home and I'm taking you with me. So visiting home after a while actually, I think in nearly six months. So yeah, it's going to be a weekend trip. I'll show you everything that will be happening back home. So just like the cows that we have, pigs, and we actually have chickens. I'll show you the fuel consumption that you get on an M340 driving in the villages, in which is crazy. We'll talk about what went wrong with the middle Litaba Dam. I'll show you Masingita Mall. And yes, I'll finally explain what was happening when this Polo GTI tried to press the M340i on the N1. So stick around for that. So just like on every trip, we fill up before we hitting the road. And if you're from Limpopo, you know that there's that elation deep down about going home, man. It's such a unique feeling. I don't know if other people from other provinces actually experience it as well. But then going to Limps, man, such a beautiful feeling. And those who are curious on how much it is in terms of toll gates, I don't think it's more than 250 rands. I'm not too sure as we are using an e-tag, so we're not paying manually. And passing here, man, I can't emphasize again on the joy that you get. I mean, with me, there's two places that bring me this joy when going home. The second one is Muketi along the R81, in which you'll see in this video as well. The weather was nice. It was beautiful weather for traveling. It was not hot or cold. It was just cloudy. And yeah, it was too nice. It was a peaceful drive. And in no time, we arrived in PLK. And then in PLK, as like we always do, fuel up, full tank again. And which I think everyone does when going home. Um, When you're from Limpopo, actually. Everybody like uh, fills up the tank in PLK before continuing with the trip i saw these buses which is basically like arian or tbs buses for those who are in pta or riavaya for those who are around johannesburg which is actually cool to see in limpopo continuing down the r81 going down sihopo we're about to reach mukets even descending sihopo man such a beautiful nice feeling knowing that you're about to reach home and yeah after that this is Muketi. This is when it, it really like sinks in that, okay, now, now I'm going home. It brings out that excitement deep down. And here we're passing blank of water. And they have these huge speed beds. These are not speed humps or speed bumps. These things are huge. These are big. A full car goes in through before the front tires go down. Like the whole car is going to be on the, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but uh, they are big. And they have these ones um around Dengeza as well actually can Dengeza they have similar ones these are the things that are stopping us from buying lamborghinis how am i gonna go home with the lambo passing these things there's no way but anyways let me stop complaining back home it was drizzling um such perfect weather for being home honestly because it's usually super hot it goes above 40 degrees sometimes which is not nice so the weather being like this is perfect and a couple of minutes later we got home being in the villages, like being away from the urban life, being away from the city life. It's just there's something about that. And then, yeah, man, this, 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 this is nice. Okay, before we go to day two, can you please subscribe to the channel? It's totally free. No money will exchange hands. You just click the subscribe button that you're going to see on your screen when you're watching this video. That helps me to make more of the content that you love. And thank you for subscribing. Now, this is the morning of day two. So, as you can see, there were pots outside cooking up. Yeah, they were cooking up something. And as a Tonga man, man, Pap, I think Peri Tonga, Venda, yeah. Pap plays a big role in our diet. We even eat it for breakfast as I was as well. And yes, it's still morning, but I'm eating Pap. It's actually coming from the pot, as you can see. As you can see. So, yeah, I'm about to eat Pap. In the morning, this is what you eat in Limpopo. You can't be eating like Boma Fancy breakfast. Yeah, you need to be strong. And yeah, so yeah. And after enjoying my breakfast, I checked up on this dog. And we've been having this dog for maybe three years now. And guys, this thing looks like it's a year old. This thing doesn't grow. And it does eat dog food for those who are about to say it eats pup and bones. It actually doesn't eat those. It eats dog food every day. But yeah, it's not growing, but I think it's the breed of it, actually, or something like that. And the name of this dog is Leo. Yeah, Leo. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
the pots that were boiling outside earlier it was the food that was going to church there was um a fundraising or something like that so it was a good weekend to be home we went to church dropped the food and this is the same day uh where we shot the toyota corolla cross video the review if you haven't watched it click on the pop-up banner just up there to watch it or you can just check it in the description box or just scroll through the channel after watching this video watch that as well and i shot the b-roll of that video of the back of this bikey the toyota highlights this is the 2005 model and it's it it still looks fairly clean it's well taken care of and i think this car deserves its own video maybe one day i'll do it um this is the car that i learned how to drive on um yeah i learned how to drive with this car and thus i have a lot of stories about just like any guy who has stories about the car that they learned how to drive with i have stories as well and my sister was showing me where she once bumped the car and tried to hide it from my dad but yeah if he eventually saw it obviously um for this day that was it actually i was done filming i don't think i filmed after this because there was nothing really more interesting after that but then let's go to day two which is more interesting no man this is actually day three because we arrived home the other day not the yesterday of this day oh yeah whatever um yeah the next day i actually went to check up check up on the pigs that i told you that we do have and if you remember there was only three pigs in here well two after that video of our trip uh from how thing to limpopo video yeah you can watch that after this one as well it's a vlog it's a nice one as well and now they've multiplied they have these ones there's these ones that have weird colors and i've never seen a pig brown pig or a pig that has colors like it's a cow yeah but what they were doing here is pretty crazy i don't know what they were doing <laughs> and after that we accompanied my sister to drop off some documents kachawani it's not far from lois richard to those who know lois and on our way there we crossed the middle tabat dam and guys this dam used to be a serious dam now there's nothing it's like a pond nyana. there's no water and it's like this allegedly due to um zz2 yeah the zz2 that you know of um so allegedly zz2 is blocking the tributaries feeding this dam but to be fair to a certain extent where those tributaries are situated it's his land and you know you need water when you're in the agriculture business you know you need water so yeah it's such a tricky situation because it leaves a lot of villages without water and yeah i'll put the link in the description box below if you want to read the article about that but anyways most villages are now using boreholes and which ah, it is what it is what can we do and then we dropped off the documents and we saw this dead cow on the road which is about to be a problem for those who are next to it because it will explode and it won't smell nice after that we headed to giani and on our way there um actually when you're going to giani from my village there's like um farms that used to be a big deal like i think they used to plant bananas mangoes and oranges something like that but now ugh, there's nothing really happening it's not looking good giani used to be a big deal but now i that's just a shadow of itself we used to have an airport university of kazankulu giani college but now i even the hospital that we have is not even that good it's not in a good condition but yeah i don't know what needs to be changed for it to be as it was but something needs to happen one positive that we have is masingita mall and which is actually quite big and quite functional and big shout out to mike nkuna is the one who's responsible for this and the one that's uh, at nkuna kral it's his as well so quite nice he's doing something for us okay we went to spot to buy some groceries and they have these things they they have this thing that they are running there where you can get as much bananas as long as you can fit them in the sack i think you pay 50 rand so there's no like quantity limit or kilogram limit you just have to pack it there and then you take it for that price yeah after that went to nando's get some food and passed by mcdonald's as well and yeah we do have mcdonald's in giani yeah we do have mcdonald's passed by mcdonald's bought food and we headed home and i forgot to tell you actually we have a village after my named after my son which is quite actually cool 
Okay, let's get to the last day. This was the last day of our visit back home. And yeah, in the morning, just woke up, visited my grandfather. It's not even visiting, actually. It's just going to my grandfather. Like, I don't know if it's visiting or what, but then it's just across the road. So it's just going there. And yeah, was telling me stories about his cars and we talked for a while and I had to say my goodbyes. And before uh, we left, my dad wanted to be on the video as well. So yeah, here's my dad, y'all. Now you tell him. Then we left and the car was showing some crazy consumption numbers, which is obviously not realistic as it went down when we were on the road. And as I said, there are places that will make you feel that now I'm going home. And there's ones that will make you feel like, okay, now I'm leaving home. It starts to hit hard as well. And which is my parlay. When you join the R81, that feeling comes, that flip. But yeah, it's all good. And the road was nice here on the R81. There was no traffic. Continuing down the R81 to Pulukwane. And again, this is Muketi. For sure, you know, after Muketi, there's Hopo, um, where you ascend. Uh, this fairly steep mountain and if you're driving a not so powerful manual car you need to approach it at a high speed and high gear because you're gonna downshift it's a must it will happen if your car is not that powerful yeah it's gonna happen even if it's a weak automatic car you know those cheap automatic cars not not saying they're bad cars but then yeah it's gonna have a hard time going up here you're gonna have to keep left with the trucks as there's two lanes going up after Sikhopo, heading towards PLK, and here we're already in PLK. <laughs> and uh, you can see the place looks like, yeah. And it's so nice to see a car that similar to the car that you are in. And I'm saying similar because that was a 320, not an M340. But it's nice still because they basically look the same. But yeah, it's nice because you get to see how other people see you. So you see what you don't see when you're in the car. Yeah, it's quite quite, quite a nice thing. And did you know that Pitam Kaba is not 100% complete as it was planned to? And yeah, I didn't know as well until I saw this tweet. Now on the N1, traffic was not as much, but it was not as clear as well. And on the N1, this is where um, the view of uh, the Polo GTI trying to press the M340 comes from. You might have seen it on Twitter or TikTok. And some were saying that the Polo driver wasn't aware of what was happening. And to clear that up, since I was there and those people were not there, the Polo driver was aware of what was happening. But look, even if, like, say you're saying he wasn't aware, even if he was, what do you think would have happened, really? That's a Polo GTI, this is an M340. There's, the levels are not the same. So, yeah. And again, there's no VW car in production that's faster than an M340i. And yes, I am aware of the VW uh, Touareg R, in which is the V6. And I still say it's not faster than the M340. And some are going to say, ah, the Golf 8R. Nah, it's not happening. The R32, come on, the R32 is not even faster than a 7.5 GTI. So, what you're saying is backwards. But, okay. Unless you're going to tune your VW, you're not going to be faster than M an M340i. That's it. And yeah, let me just close it here, actually. That's it for this video. Stay subscribed. Thank you for watching. Until the next trip, danko.